kiddos. In today's lesson, our learning target is I can sort. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, kiddos. Today's learning target is I can short. <laughs> Hi kiddos! Today's learning target is I can sort shapes in different ways. So we're going to be looking at different attributes, different things uh, on the shape, and thinking about which shapes have that attribute, have that particular detail, or whether they don't. So we're going to be doing this by using an activity called what is the rule? So you're going to choose a rule like three sides or uh, four corners or curved sides. This will make more sense in a moment when you see the shapes. And you're going to drag shapes that fit your rule into the box. You're going to do this three times. So let's take a look. Here's a group of shapes that you can move around and you can drag them into the green part. The green part is for shapes that fit your rule. For example, if my rule was shapes with curved sides, I would put these two shapes in there because those are the only two shapes that have curved sides. All the others have straight sides. There are lots of other rules you could think of though. Your rule could be how many corners your shape has, maybe choosing shapes with a certain number of corners. Your rule could talk about the number of sides, or it could be a rule that I haven't thought of yet. This page and then the next two are all exactly the same, but on each page your job is to think of a new rule and drag the shapes over. When we have our meeting tomorrow, we're going to be sharing these with our friends and seeing if they can guess what your rule is. All right, so if you want to review different uh, shapes and all of that. You can watch the other videos in this lesson to remember what we call shapes with certain numbers of sides and things like that. Otherwise, think about your rule, drag your shapes in that fit the rule, and come up with three different rules for this assignment. That's what you need to be finished. All right, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.